Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to my home and kitchen. Um, did you like the intro? Um, I love the church bills this morning. I had went out and to put my rugs out on the banister, and I could hear the church bells ringing, and it was just it it was wonderful to me. It was it was a really good sign of a wonderful and beautiful day. So, I have a lot of things to do. I am home uh, this week and a list uh, for everything and then I forget to even look at it. And when I go to the grocery store, I have a list and I'll forget to have time to bring it. So I am trying to do my Christmas list, things I need before next weekend. Um, and I've got uh, gifts to wrap today and uh, some other things I need to do pertaining to Christmas and I wanted y'all to come along with me. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, so that list I have quickly gotten done. I've added a few more things that I'll get on to this afternoon, but for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and start some bread because I've got to let it rise for a little bit and uh, maybe work on uh, some muffins that I need to make. So yeah, let's As go. As you guys can see, I am in different clothes. It is the very next day. Um, had some things come up and a long, long nap was one of them, and I didn't wake up till late, so I decided to continue this video today. So, instead of doing bread, I have decided to do some candy, and I'm gonna do some uh, homemade uh, Reese cups. And this is a simple little recipe. It's gonna be quick, so here we go. Like I said, this is a very easy recipe. Um, I'm going to start out with 100% pure 
pure coconut oil. And that's two third cup. I'm gonna do a third cup of cocoa powder. I'm going to do a half a teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm going to do, it actually the recipe calls for real maple syrup. I don't have any maple syrup. We don't, we never use it. All I do have on hand is uh, honey, and I'm gonna use honey. It's 100% pure honey, uh, actually from Yakinville, or Yakin County, North Carolina. So, I'm gonna put that in. And we're just gonna whisk this together. Okay, and I'm gonna get a spoon, and I'm just gonna try and see if it needs anything added to it, or. Nope, it's good. I have got my cupcake pans. I've got them lined. I've got that one, and I've got this small one. And I'm gonna get another spoon. Um, this in, uh, recipe is actually a little bit different from any that I've made before, but I was trying to go with a little bit more healthier uh, candy. I mean, candy's bad for us anyway, but, you know, trying to use some better, better uh, ingredients, I guess. But this, like I said, this one is uh, a little bit different, and instead of adding confectionery sugar to the peanut butter and all this stuff, all I'm going to do is just put a dollop of uh, the peanut butter after I put my cocoa mixture. In my cup. And we're just going to put enough, really, to cover the bottom of that. And then I'm going to do just a, a teaspoon. And I'm going to kind of skim it off the top. And I'm actually using 100% peanut butter. Um, so... It's organic. I'm going to use this spoon to kind of Just get a little bit more of that. And then we're going to put some more of our chocolate mixture on top. If you can see, I'm going to do one more, and then I'll bring you back a little bit of the chocolate mixture. A little bit of the peanut butter. And 
a little bit more of the chocolate. I'll bring you back when I get these filled. Okay, guys, this recipe, this is, like I said, a new recipe that I was trying and uh, more healthier, which, uh, you know, I don't know about all that. But this recipe itself only made like seven candies. So if you're wanting to make a little bit more, uh, can more candy than that, then let's go ahead and double your recipe. And also... The, the maple syrup might have been the better way to go with this instead of the honey. Uh, reason being, it, in, it didn't incorporate in my chocolate mixture like I thought it would. So what I done is uh, a tablespoon of coconut sugar. And uh, of course, if you don't have that, you could probably put maybe a tablespoon of, of just regular sugar in there, or pure cane sugar. And, and make it just a little bit sweeter than what it turned out to be. So yeah, what I would do is I would go ahead and use the four tablespoons of the real maple syrup instead of the honey. And, uh, or maybe just switch it out with pure cane honey, so, uh, pure cane sugar. So yeah, now all we have to do is we're gonna get, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put these in the freezer and let them set up really good. Uh, then I'm gonna try one for you um, on this video. So we can do a review together. This has gotten a little bit firm and I'm gonna taste it. Um, I'll be very honest, I am not pleased with this recipe um, at all. Um, if you can tell, they said to actually put it in the freezer and, and let it set up. Um, it looks like to me that it actually has a waxy look to it and which is okay for you know myself and Larry but and actually like right there it's not set up completely and not, it may need to be set you know set up a little bit more but anyway I'm gonna try it and give you a review It is good. It's very good. Looks are deceiving. But if I was going to gift this, I wouldn't. I would probably stick with the simple, more traditional uh, recipe than this. And uh, I will find my other uh, Reese Cut recipe and I will link that down below. And if I hope you guys like this video, and I hope you subscribe and share it, and I will catch y'all on the next one.